Hey, it's Darcy. I'm the bad artist from London, Ontario, Canada. Hope you're having a great day. This is a first for me. This is a um, subscriber requested video of a fish or aquatic creature from two subscribers, not just one. Um, and it's funny because these two have been very nice and they've sent me messages. One is Cameron and Cameron's from Idaho and I think she drives that big red truck with the big potato on the back with the farmer always chases around on those commercials. Um, so Cameron suggested this and literally 20 minutes later I got a message from uh, Jen Bickerstaff and uh, she actually asked to see a um, jellyfish as well. And the one thing about Jen Bickerstaff, don't you like that last name? It sounds like she could be like a superhero. Uh, call in Bickerstaff. She'll fix everything. Anyway, hope you're having a good day. Um, so we're going to do this. This is on a black nettle. And I had to look it up because I thought it was a plant until I did. It, it's also a jellyfish. So here we go. Um, and yeah, have a good day. We'll see you soon. So let's talk a little bit about the jellyfish, also called the um, black nettle. Now the one thing I noticed when I was doing this, you'll, you'll find that there's not a lot of black in this one, but the black nettle is actually black. I think the photos that I was using as a reference to do this watercolor caused the, because of the light shining through from the photographers, it actually uh, made the jellyfish look the pinky orangey reddy colors. Um, not 100% sure but these things are black when they're for example stuck on a beach. Uh, they have some interesting facts. The uh, You can eat these things which I never knew but um, they are made of 5% fat and 80% protein products so you would think man that might be pretty good Turns out though that the protein portion of these jellyfish is actually sort of a really low quality uh, protein as a food. So people eat them, and uh, but they're not really anything essential in terms of uh, nutrients and everything like that. It also seems like some of the recipes I was looking at, people tend to dunk them in vinegar and all those sort of condiments that take away the taste of the fish so sometimes I wonder why they even eat them if they're going to just dunk them in vinegar and stuff like that. They are um, can grow as long as 120 feet and that includes the little tentacles on the side or can be as small as a pinhead. Now the other thing that um, I noticed is a small group of them is actually a small group of jellyfish is called a smack. If you get a bunch of currents that push them all together, that's actually called a bloom of jellyfish, and you can literally get hundreds of thousands. So that being said, if that's called a bloom, do you know what happens at Disney World if, for example, a bloom um, jellyfish meets up uh, in Orlando, Florida? You're right, you get an Orlando bloom. <laughs> Okay, enough of that. Um, they are mobile only to the point of where the currents take them. So uh, they're not fantastic movers. They, they sort of undulate that uh, mushroom sort of cap they have to help them move a little bit, but, but really it's wherever the currents take them is where they end up going. They have, most people are aware of this, they have um, tentacles that sting and they're covered in a nematosis. And what they are, each little tentacle has thousands of these things, and they literally explode outward. They, um, it, that's why the other thing, too, is they actually survive after the jellyfish is dead. So I don't know if you've seen people wearing, for example, rain boots or some sort of protective boots, and then they jump on them on the beach when they're dead on the beach, and then they explode. Well, those uh, nematosis can still actually hurt people long after they're dead, so something that they have to be careful of at the same time. At this point, you'll, you will notice when I'm using my Copic markers here, I outline, I do a lot of outlining, and I don't know why I do it, but I kind of like it. If you're going to do this, though, uh, you should always use the thicker uh, nib on the outside, 
and then the smaller nib one on the inside just to give it a little bit more definition so that if people are looking at it uh, they'll know what is what is what especially when you get all sorts of things tangled up like I'm doing here uh, but that's just a quick tip there if you're ever trying it it's a different way to do it and I like it um, other than that I hope you have a great day uh, this was I want to thank Cameron and Jen Beckerstaff um, for their suggestions um, and hope everything goes well please uh, like subscribe and uh, share with your friends we're getting up to 150 or so subscribers so that's really nice and I appreciate all the support still working on a octopus for my friend Steven there's the final um, picture and I hope you uh, have a great day and take care of yourselves and uh, always looking forward to the comments and from hearing from you. Okay, so you take care and have a great day.